before Zion's death, she pleaded guilty to hiding mm. his body in a trash can for eight months. But Staples... What? How many months? Bro, I'm thinking she's gonna say eight days, eight hours. Eight months? Crazy. She actually wants out of prison early. I'll have more on that in a bit. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It is your boy, Texas Chris. I'm back again with another video. And today, as you see by the title, we're sadly reacting to woman hit son's body in trash can after he accidentally shot himself. Sad. Sad mother. I hope I know she's probably stuck with him and stuck, like, you know, the umbilical cord and all that. But, like, bro, you got to gotta report that. Some lady called DCFS. And what? And okay, I have one day that you had a child that accidentally shot themselves? Absolutely not. No, I, not. It, it sounds crazy to me, too. <laughs> That's Sushi Staples, a mom from Illinois caught on body camera denying she has a son. The problem? She's lying. Man, this is crazy. I don't know. I think I'm being framed. I'll lay out the entire sad story that includes the death of Staples' 10 year The sad thing about this is, like, the the as fast as she denied it, like, the cops are gonna be like every every little small inst instigation. They're gonna be like, "Nah, you know what? This one lady that was hiring her son in the trash can, you may you like, you know what? Like, you know what I mean? Like, this is probably why cops like Your do what they son. do because like somebody Thanks for lying joining me for like Crime that. Fix. I'm Anjanette Levy. The case of Sushi Staples and the accidental shooting death of her son Zion is so incredibly sad. Staples is serving a two-year prison sentence for Zion's death. She pleaded guilty to hiding mm. his body in a trash can for eight months. But Staples... What? How many months? Bro, I'm thinking she's going to say eight days, eight hours. Eight months? Crazy. She actually wants out of prison early. I'll have more on that in a bit. The investigation into Sushi Staples started back on July 25th of 2023 in Rock Island, Illinois. Police received information from a woman who had known Staples for many years. At first, it was just like a regular phone call, like, how you been, how you been doing, and stuff like that. And then I heard her, like, crying a little bit. And I asked her, I said, what's wrong? And she just stated to me that Christmas will never be the same again. Um, she then stated to me, I said, why, what happened? Um, and she was like hesitant. Anybody realized like the son was gone me. though? She then told me that her son um, had... She was gone from the house, and she told me that her son had shot himself. And who do you know her son as? Zion. Okay. That friend of Staples told police that she confessed to hiding Zion's body. Um, she stated that he shot himself. At the time, he was nine years old. Um, I said, what do you mean Whoa. he shot himself? I mean, he was nine years old. Um, Why do you have a gun unattended with a nine-year-old? Um, I said, what do you mean he shot himself? Um, how did he get, I asked her some questions, like, how did he get a gun? Like, how did that happen? Exactly. So many things she wrong with this. She explained to me that she had just stepped out to run some errands, and she received a call from her daughter, Serenity, saying that Zion was gone, and she said, what do you mean gone? Like the, like the daughter up, too. Why is he gone? Why is he, is he outside telling him to get back in the house? But she told me before she left, he kept saying that how he missed his dad or something like that. And he was crying because he felt like he missed his dad or something no, like that, sad, she had stated to me. That's super sad. Then she said that um, Serenity said, no, he's on the floor. He's bleeding everywhere. She feared that they would take her kids away and she was scared to lose everything. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she said she still had him there. She purchased, she told me she purchased a burning barrel um, from Home Depot or something like that that you burn leaves and stuff in, and she stored him in that. I'm like, what? And she said, yeah, he was stored in that in her basement. 
She says she tried to set him on fire. Now, after hearing this, Rock Island police, of no. course, went to no. Staples' home to investigate, and she put on quite a show. Take a look. You miss Staples? Yes, how can I help you? So, we got kind of a weird phone call. How can um, she sleep at night, bro? Do you know Latricia? No. No. Um, I don't know anybody out here. Some lady called DCFS. And, what? And kind of made some claims that you had a child that accidentally shot themselves? Absolutely not. No, I, My... it, it sounds crazy to me, too. That's what... Um... I am so sorry about this. My ex-husband... His new girlfriend, this broad is off the chain. I have went down to Rock Island and filed a police report on her. Okay. I have went and put a restraining order on her. What's her name? Uh, her name is Tony. This girl is never in it. She has so many different Facebook pages she stalks me from. She has made up different names, sure. from different numbers. I have changed my number, tried to do everything I can. Right. Unfortunately, I can never seem to get them served because they're always bouncing around in the Chicago area. Oh, okay. They're not even down here. They're then. not even out here. Staples insisted she did not have a son and was indignant that police were even questioning her. Here's more of the exchange. You guys only have girls? Yes. Was the son not in school? Do you like, want to see them? No, no, no. They said it was she a get son. No I'm thing? curious Sir, if that's even true. It's not. Okay. I, this, this is, I'm just... Um, it's a never-ending story with these no, I, two. I get, like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to bother you or anything, but we get a call, no matter how crazy it sounds, we still got to come up and see if there's any truth. And this is crazy. It is. This is very crazy. Okay. I have been living here for She's six years. She's crazy. I'm never, my neighbors have never had a complaint. Don't you think that no. my neighbors would have heard some, some, something <laughs> like that, they would have made a call or said something would, to somebody? I would believe so, yeah. Just think about it. It don't make no kind of sense. This girl is psycho. Just so I can check the box off, can I look in your basement real quick and I'll get no, out of here? No, you need a search warrant to do that. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm not Red about flag. to have my blood You know, you know what? Like I'm going to yap a little bit. I'm going to yap a little bit. I'm going to yap a little bit. But this this is good. But she has a point. He does need a search warrant. But then, on the officer's standpoint, bro, I would take it to my boss. Like, hey, let's get a search warrant. Like, we never know, like... It's a dead nine-year-old. And, like, I would contact the school. But, like, me, like, I'm not an officer. Like, I'm just a kid. No, I'm not, I'm not even, I can't even say kid. I'm a young adult, bro. Like, bro, like, I see so many wrong things. And we only five minutes in, bro. Because someone makes your rainous obligations like this. I know. Like I said, it sounded crazy to me, too. I'm just up here seeing if, you know, we have to investigate it. Now, police obviously didn't buy what Staples was selling. Good, they had received good. a call about a child who hadn't been seen in many months. Can I see the warrant, please? And I can call my lawyer. Oh, it's the next day. Can I see the warrant before we walk no. any further? Okay. I'm calm. We have a valid search warrant. Um, that's what they needed to do if they wanted to look inside her home. Okay, I'm scared to death because I don't so, know what's going on. And so the reason we're here, okay, is because we're investigating a call that we we had, okay? The officers came out and talked to you last night, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, we have to handle that real seriously, okay? Because the allegations are that you have a son and that he's deceased and he's here in this house. Mm. Bro. Okay, so. How do you go to sleep that's where at, we're at night right now. knowing that though? Do you have a son named Zion? No, I don't. Not no, You've never no, had a son no. named Zion. No. Are you claiming benefits for a kid named Zion? No. I haven't gotten any benefits for anyone. Staples had an answer for everything. Police informed her that the Department of Children and Family Services in Chicago had had contact with her children, including Zion. Staples again blamed her ex's girlfriend, who she called a stalker. You filed for public aid. You got your daughter. Gotten benefits since I was in Chicago. So I'm not sure. I told you my identity was stolen. Mm -hmm. My taxes were illegally filed. I went through a whole thing with the IRS. Come on now. That was not me. But who is this Zion that was interviewed by DCFS up in Chicago, right in the presence of all your other children? That, there was the no Zion one Staples. No yeah, one was interviewed. Where, where did you say someone named Zion Staples was interviewed? 
lady there or no he was trash can? Because the call was made about my Let son and trail by his father. Yes. It was yes. never made about a Zion safe But when they went there, there was... The only child that they spoke to because it was regarding him had frequent visitors. We had kids in the neighborhood come over. So Some of those kids that were implicated were not, in fact, our children. They were there. So you're saying there was party. a kid in your apartment that was not your your kid named Zion. I didn't say his Staples. name was Zion. No. Well, somewhere here, we've got to clear this up with this Zion yes. Staples. The detectives then confronted Staples about information they had received and the fact that she had texted someone about the police approaching her the night before. Mm. After that officer left last night, you texted this person and was talking it's to him. pictures of him now. Well, there, we have to take pictures of the whole house okay. and then we'll search just to show that we're not like breaking stuff and everything else we're like not that. not destroying your place. So you were pissed off that the officers were here and then you... I didn't know who it was because I thought it was this. What do you mean you know who it was? Like, it's obviously police, bro. Why are you acting? Dysfunctional. It's not. Uh, it's not what I wanted to say, but number again because nobody has my number. So I thought it was her harassing me again. That's why but I who? told the so officer then, last night. So then, who night. did you text? And I thought it was Tony. Catch a break from this because we have the whole text thread between you two right after the officers left. It's pretty personal to each other, too. Like, you guys very well know each other, but I thought it's talking about somebody's daughter, it's talking about it's going back because people are shitty, they say crap about your kids for what. But you guys know each other, it's not a random just I'm texting a stranger getting mad. It's you two know each other. You know what? People come after me all the time, and these are the same people I live. Who are you? Who are you? Grown ass woman. She, she probably heard of me, but I ain't never heard of her. Who are this? Who is this lady? People come after you all the time. Who I are you? I've for lawyers for people. I've helped people do things. So people envy you all the time. What can you do about it? Eventually, police told Staples she was going to jail. One turn off for me. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to jail. What am I going to jail for? What have you I done? You just admitted to fraud. So now you're going to railroad me on fraud? Railroad you what? We're trying to figure out where your kid is. My you're kid. saying that he doesn't you're exist. My kid. So now you're trying to railroad me. I'm railroad you what? You your did this to yourself. Just said he didn't. I didn't. I didn't get any benefits though. I didn't file any IRS returns. You're in if possession you of the... false documentation and you already said that you're, you signed up and have them for financial aid. But I didn't, that's what I told you. Police searched Staples house extensively going from room to room and then Staples was taken to jail. She was charged with several felonies including concealment of a death, obstruction of justice and failure to report the death of a child. Police found Zion's body in a metal trash can in Staples' home. He was wearing Spider-Man pajamas. Oh, the my. coroner determined God. he died from a gunshot wound, likely suffered in December of 2022. Detectives also interviewed Staples' hairdresser, who offered some information. This past February, Sushi Staples was sentenced yeah, to two go years to in work. prison and six months of probation after pleading guilty to one charge. Last month, she asked the judge to reconsider her sentence because she is a first time offender and she claims she had ineffective assistance of counsel. No decision has been made on her. No, judge need to yet. turn up and give her She's more years to be asking. released from prison in January. And that's it for this edition of Crime Fix. I mean, what do y'all think about that? Huh? I, I really want to know, like, does this lady deserve justice? Does she deserve to get out? For keeping her son, somebody she gave birth to? Okay, yes. The child, we don't even know the full story. The child may have shot himself. Or the child may have injured himself real badly to where he unallowed himself. So you're just going to be quiet? You're not going to say nothing? Your own child? Come on now. I'm not a mother. I can never be a mother, but I can't be a father. I'm not a father, though. But I know if it was my child, 
I'll take the responsibility. You know what? I left the gun out. I hopefully I'll never be in that situation. Never leave my gun out. But hopefully, I don't. I just don't understand. They're uh, like, why do you have a gun out? Left it alone with a nine year old. Anyway, if y'all enjoyed this video or took something from this video, I hope you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you think. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And also, watch another video of mine. You'll enjoy it. Since Chris, we signing out. Peace.